Hello, I'm David the Collector, and we're back with a series where I weigh packs that I buy from eBay or local sellers that are supposedly heavy, get the exact weight, and then open them to determine if they're actually heavy. Um, I've done this with two base set two so far, one in the short function and one in the long variety. The long variety was displayed on shelves and the short variety was displayed uh, in boxes. I also have some short base set too. I bought these recently from a local seller who said he had four heavy packs, but I believe they're only to be two actual heavies um, based on my measurements and the opening I've done before. He also had a pack of gym heroes. This is a long crimp. He had like five or six packs of these, but I believe there to be only one heavy pack in the bunch. I'm gonna measure this one today and open it for you. He had one other pack that I'm not gonna show you today. It's a mystery pack that I'm going to save for Vegas. I believe this to be a heavy pack and he gave me a tremendous deal on it. Normally it would go for three times the amount and it has cards in it that could be worth up to $30,000 if you make the top hit in this pack, um, but we'll, reveal that for the Vegas viewing um, when I'm recording for my birthday today. We'll just open this one. The weight of it is 21.23 grams. I believe that to be a heavy for the long crimp. Um, we opened a heavy the other day in base set two that I don't think was um, actually heavy. Um, this is a lower stakes pack. It's not first edition, it's not base set. Um, Gym Heroes does have some hitters in it. There's two big hitters in Pokemon Gym Heroes. The two big hitters are Moltres and Gengar. There are also a bunch of trainer cards. I don't actually know the trick for this one, so we're just gonna open it. Um, I'm gonna show you the seal. It looks pretty good. There are a couple lines in it, which is not great, but I tend to find that these longer ones have that issue. The um, way to basically tell if they're real is you can kind of split them like this and it doesn't open them up. If this opens up the package itself, that's a bad sign, right? Just like a little bit of gloss there. So yeah, let me know if I'm missing anything or if this looks like it was opened but it doesn't look like it was open to me. So we will go for the opening ourselves right now. Oh, the long crimp ones are better to open from the bottom. I'm going to just go in the order that they come just because I don't remember. and didn't look up the card trick for this one. So there could be a hollow in any spot. We're starting with Misty's Poliwag. Again, this was a 21.23 gram pack. Ooh, Brock's Vulpix, that's a great card. So we're trying to see if this indeed has a heavy in it. I think it might be next. We'll see. Nope. It might be this one. Yep, it's <gasps> Lieutenant Surge and it's hollow. So this indeed was a heavy pack. That's a great hit. I'm going to bag this. So that tells us sort of the heavy range for the bigs starts at at least 21.23. So anything over that is probably going to be a hollow hit. Happy with this one. Happy that the um, heavy that I weighed from this local seller so far, the 104 that I bought does have a hit in it. Um, that means my weighing is getting better. This pack um, was sold to me as a light pack, actually. So pretty, pretty happy that I'm sort of getting better at the um, understanding of this. Lieutenant Surge is a great card. I'm not entirely sure how much it's worth off the top of my head. Um, but this is one of the trainer cards. Um, I think the bigger hit is Brock, um, but I think this is number two or three. We'll finish off the cards real quick. Erica's Gloom. Suprina's Jinx, Blaine's Magmar. I'll bag all these guys off camera later. One energy card. So yeah, very, very excited with this Gym Heroes pack. Maybe I'll go back to the seller, try to find a, a lighter pack and see, see if that's where the range is. Um, this has been David with another opening. Thank you.